Hi, Georgianne. It's great to connect with you virtually on Google Meets. Google Meets is the virtual platform that WPAA-TV is making available to its producers that want to continue producing shows but do it virtually because the studio is currently not available for studio use. It's very difficult to get conversations recorded when you need to be six feet apart. The entire intimacy of your show uh, that appeared to be like a kitchen table is truly unavailable at this time as we are in the world today with COVID. We are making a few tools available to our users. The tools include the Google Meets application, which can be set up so that you can handle it independently, uh, recording your own sessions, managing them 100% on your own. They can be supported. We can have staff or volunteers available to actually do the recording. In order to use the Google Meets application, you do need a WPAA TV email address, which is attached to a Google Drive and a all the Google applications. If we were to use the Google Meet, mm -hmm. would there be the potential for a practice session to see if the lighting of the area that they're going to is compatible with what we're looking for? When you record a session, from your WPA.TV email address, which is the only one you can use to do a recording. It saves your Google Drive shortly after the recording ends. Even if you accidentally forget to end it, it will eventually determine that the session has ended and it will end the recording. And uh, you will then have a link that can be shared with your guests so that they can see what actually happened in advance of you doing any post-production with it. In addition to Google Meets, we have the We Video Cloud editing system. It's very similar to the one editing system that most users have been trained on, trained on here, Speed Edit. It's fairly simple. You can add images, you can add your intros and your audio and your uh, credits. And you can do that safely from any location that you have access to the internet. If you want to continue using Speed Edit and come into the station, uh, you would need to come uh, wearing a mask. Uh, we would sanitize before and after visits. And we would uh, set you up to be as independent as possible, what would be available to assist in the edit suites as before. And what are some of the other producers using, doing through the studio? Right now we are supporting a variety of applications. Some of our producers are using Zoom and doing editing at home and submitting those programs. Some are getting the Google assisted recordings, which then we add post-production elements to here after the fact. We're trying to get folks interested in doing their own Google Meets applications and using the Wii Video platform so that they can be totally independent as is expected of citizen media producers. And we also have hosted a COVID-friendly music experience called Fire Escape Sessions, where musicians, typically individuals or duos or trios, uh, have come in only to the second floor of the space uh, using the fire escape access to the building and directly into the studio. They've been great. They are very talented. They actually treat the studio that's empty as if there were people in it. Uh, it's quite amazing. It's a, it really takes a very talented musician to be able to pull that off. Those have been live as TV as well as live in the internet space. And uh, we're encouraging folks to check in on those Tuesday nights because they've been awesome live experiences. And of course, as everything that we do um, will be available on demand basis through a video YouTube application. These shows are produced by WPA TV, so they are available on our YouTube channel. I know you are working with podcasts. How does that fit in the overall studio's offerings? We do have a podcast. Yes, it's predominantly the archived shows that have been recorded previously in prior years, going back to 2016, actually, maybe even a little earlier. Content that 
is evergreen. It's not time bound or time restricted. There's no mention of something coming up next week in the conversation. And if that is, we've edited it out for the podcast version. Podcast is called As Told Here. It is available on Spotify and it will be on more platforms soon. Your conversation with Judith Altman, who is a Holocaust survivor, is on our podcast series already. We're also featuring individuals who are Wallingford folks. Uh, we had intended to do that in support of the Wallingford 350 project uh, featuring Wallingford people's stories. So there are a few of those. Anything that is really current uh, will be put to podcast immediately. For example, Citizen Mike is doing a show on police accountability that will be available on podcast shortly after it is released for television and online. As told here, WPA TV is a new way to hear great content previously recorded on WPA TV. We do have a podcast studio that's available for use. Right now, teenagers are using it to create music videos, uh, but that is available on a first come first serve basis. And it is set up so that the recording can be done six feet apart. And since we're not really concerned about images being captured in that environment, that works fine. The studio can still be reserved at reserve at WPA TV. So that's what's happening now on that we are still in COVID times and aren't able to support the studio use as previously, but we're doing our best to provide virtual opportunities for our producers, as is the case with many community television stations across the nation. So thank you for asking. Good to see you again.